The Joker is one of the most iconic villains in comic book history. But here's the thing, despite decades of stories, nobody knows who he truly is. In this video, I will try to find out who the Joker really is. From his first appearance to modern reimaginings. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and picture this if you will. Our journey begins in Detective Comics issue 169, which was released in 1951, where we first hear about the Joker's early criminal life as the Red Hood. While robbing the Monarch Playing Card Company, he encounters Batman for the very first time. Trying to flee, he dives into a vat of chemicals at the Ace Chemical Plant, emerging with the bleached white skin, green hair, and the infamous red grin. This is one of the earliest glimpses of his transformation into the Joker, but of course not the last. Later on in Alan Moore's The Killing Joke, we have a more sympathetic portrayal. Here the Joker is a failed comedian who turns to crime to support his pregnant wife. Tragedy strikes when his wife and unborn child die in a freak accident, diving him deeper into despair. Forced into wearing the red hood to commit a heist, he ends up in the same fateful vat of the chemicals after a confrontation with Batman. When he emerges seeing his reflection, the chalk white skin, rubby red lips and green hair, his mind snaps and the Joker is born, a broken man transformed into an agent of chaos. But there's more to the story. In Gotham Knights, issues 50 to 55, we get a darker twist. According to Edward Nigma, who you might know as the Riddler, the Joker's wife wasn't killed in the accident, but was murdered. In fact, she was murdered by criminals to force the Joker into their plan. And in this version, the Joker's real name might be Jack, a name hinted at, but never really confirmed. In The Three Jokers by Jeff Jones, Jeff revisits the backstory, adding a disturbing layer. It suggests that the Joker may have been abusive to his wife, Janie, and that her death was staged by the Gotham police to put her into witness protection. In a shocking twist, Batman discovers Janie and their child living in Canada, revealing that Bruce knows the Joker's true identity all along. The Batman Confidential series paints the Joker as a bored criminal named Jack, disillusioned with life. He becomes obsessed with Batman after a run-in with the Dark Knight. After being brutally tortured at a chemical plant, Jack is transformed when he falls into a vat of antidepressant chemicals. This turns him into the clownish villain we all know, though this version drops the Red Hood identity altogether. One of the more obscure origin stories comes from the Batman Streets of Gotham. In flashbacks, we meet a boy named Sonny, treated kindly by Bruce Wayne's mother, Martha. But after witnessing a mob crime, Sonny is abducted and brutally tortured, leaving him with a permanent smile and a broken jaw. Imply that this boy would eventually grow up to be the Joker, though the story never confirms it outright. In Scott Schneider's Zero Year, the Joker is once again tied to the Red Hood identity. As a leader of the Red Hood gang, he wages an anarchic war on Gotham after confrontation with Batman. He throws himself into the chemicals at Ace Chemicals, completing his transformation. But even here, his identity remains shrouded in mystery. Finally, in the Endgame arc, there's a wild theory that the Joker may have been around long before Batman. With the introduction of Dionysium, a chemical that prolongs life, Batman suspects that the Joker may have been as old as Gotham itself. The story hints at a serial killer known as the Pale Man, suggesting that the Joker may have been terrorizing the city for centuries. So what is the truth? After all these stories, we still don't know a definitive answer. Is the Joker a tragic victim of fate? A bored criminal seeking thrills? Or a centuries-old killer? Maybe it's all the above, as he says himself. Sometimes I remember it one way, sometimes another. So what do you think? Which one of these origin stories you think is closer to the truth, if there is one? Could there ever be a definitive answer? Or is it better for the Joker's past to remain a mystery? Let me know in the comments below, I am intrigued. And of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of Batman and beyond. What other criminals do you want me to talk about? Let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.